What is up guys? We are back some more of the Thaumaturge. We just had our father's will read to us and we were supposed to get the Black Grimmer, but apparently it's missing. So we're going to be doing some more investigation of looking through our father's stuff uh, to figure out what happened to it so we can get it back. Um, I went exploring around some of these other rooms too, just to pick up items and get some more EXP. And so got all that boring stuff out the way. Now we can examine some of these items to see if we can draw some conclusions before I talk to uh, our Salutor. So the human heart is worth more than all the riches in the world. Tonight, SR. The message only appears to be brief and wow, that was quick. Oh, I guess it's because I walked away. Book on ancient cultures. Father would pour over the yellow pages again and again, reading the same words over and over, trying to extract meaning from them. He repeated the words with about dedication and the necessity of sacrifice like a mantra, slamming shut one volume and reaching for another. What does it mean? So this definitely is a trace from our pops. Makes sense, it's our bad stuff. <laughs> a suitcase, grains of desert sands from father's trip to Africa had settled on the suitcase. He would set it aside, spinning plans for future voyages into the unknown regions of the material world, searching for what was hidden behind the veil of reality. And then we have the demonic countenance ritual mask is clothed in the hope that clung to its first and the satisfaction that soon followed. It seems that father had plans for Shirala, which he eventually managed to fulfill. Let's draw our conclusion. Father's thoughts were recently occupied with the search for knowledge that bordered on the obsessive. This is related to something much more than his usual curiosity about the world, which I remember him for. He was looking for something. Hunting for salutars, exploring the mysteries of everything related to Thaumaturgy. The only thing I still don't know is where it led him. To his grave, my guy? Let's just listen. Oh, we gain EXP for listening to stuff too. Well, let's talk to, to our, to our salutar here. Find our old stomping ground? Yes, I'm not too fond of this place either. This is where I had my last conversation with my father, just before I left. If you can call it a conversation. Can you see my dreams? Nightmares, actually. Ever since I decided to come back, I keep reliving the same memory. The Lone Shark Incident. I've been seeing his death more and more lately. I wonder if his shop is still there. Perhaps we should go there and check. But we also can ask Licky about the mysterious SR. Also, we're able to change clothes once we unlock them. This is our room apparently, so whenever we get more more looks, we'll we'll go ahead and swap out clothes. Answer the telephone. I don't know if that's timed, so let's answer this. <laughs> Hello? I talk here? Do you hear me now? Victor? Victor, are you there? Grigori? Yes. Victor, uh, where are you? On the other end of the line, at home, where the telephone rang. <laughs> Incredible. How did you know I have a telephone at home? Uh, something's interrupting you, Victor. I am telecommunicating with you to say I found lodgings here in Warsaw. If you need me, I'm by the cemetery. Uh, what number is it? Yes, yes. Seven Boboskowska Street. Uh, number seven by cemetery. Boboskowska. I'm glad. It's good to hear your voice. <laughs> it's good to hear you as well. Uh, goodbye. I, I want to end now. What do I... Uh, like this? Wonderful device. Remarkable. Hello? Oh, and now? Jeez, this is how people really felt when telephones became a thing. We've received the quest Taming Darkness. Uh, 
But what? What is this? Drink hot chocolate? You know the secret of time travel requires but one sip of cocoa. All of a sudden, Liggy is reading a book in front of the fireplace and I'm stacking building blocks. My parents are arguing in the smoke room. It's a warm day and then everything goes to hell. What? What are these? That was interesting. We got... Oh, we could use the E key as well. Just realized that. Liquor is not alcohol. It's more of a tincture. In fact, yes, a medicine. Oh, it's like us drawing like memories of stuff. Master Victor, let me guess. Have you come for some hot coffee? I already had it. Yes, a cup of cocoa would do me good. Help yourself. The pot is in the salon, along with some of your favorite cookies. It's been an age since we've seen one another. I'm glad you're back. Mistress Ligia is really struggling with everything. Ligia won't open up to me, but how is she doing? She's having a rough time, the poor dear. Her heart is heavy, though she doesn't show it, but she's strong. She keeps her chin up and doesn't give in. And it's good she's got you to help now, Master. Only she started smoking like a chimney. Well, what she started smoking? She That's what matters. Father, no question about it. And so, the great Stanislav Shulsky is dead, crashed by a building. Can't say I wish a death like that on anybody. An awful death. Sheer cruelty. Mr. Shulsky didn't deserve it. Now all we can do is think back on what a wonderful man he was. That won't take long. <laughs> so, this death... What do you make of it, Grzynka? I'll tell you in confidence, Master Shulsky. Now, I'm a simple woman, but something about your father's death... There we go. Doesn't we're, getting some, right we're getting some information there. How do you mean, Grzynka? Don't you suspect some impure powers had a hand in it? Do you mean it could have something to do with thaumaturgy? That, I don't know. Look at us jabbering while there are potatoes not peeled. Forgive me, Master. Another time, Grazin. But at least, at least she has her suspicions as well. Always ample work, but I can always snatch a moment for a chit-chat with you, Master. Just to be sure, I'm gonna go back down in the basement to see if there was, like, anything here new that popped up. Doesn't look like it, though. Have you found anything yet about the grimoire? Is there any way I can help? Oh, there she is smoking. In Father's study, I found a trace of a woman that I couldn't identify. Probably Svetlana Rumyantseva. Who? Oh. Who is she? And what does Father have to do with her? Svetlana is a Russian aristocrat who travels with the Romanov's court. I can only tell you she was a customer of father's. A customer? If you don't want to say, then don't. Where can I find her? When she's in town, she stays at the Imperial Hotel. She might know something that will help me find the grimoire. Not so fast. To get in, you're going to need me and my connections. Svetlana is famous for her soirées where she hosts the Crème de la Crème Warsaw. We could go together. How about you track down some evening clothes and I'll sort out the invitation. And I won't take no for an answer. Sadly, you never give me a chance. 
Unfortunately, everything in my wardrobe is antediluvian. I need a tailor. There's a shop at 11 Pruzna Street that's fairly decent and quick. We also have barbers in Warsaw in case you want to do something about whatever you have growing on your head and face. Additionally, visit a barber. <laughs> okay. Alright guys, so I made it to a tailor shop and I started investigating some of the stuff and now we can draw a conclusion from uh, a dirty coffee mug, um, a note from a disgruntled customer asking him to hurry up, and then we had like the tailor's mannequin, so it says, threads of focus left on the mannequin being ripped apart by customer visits, all the ideas that aren't good enough or are rejected, nothing but more alterations. So this dude's stressed out for sure. Taylor has a steady hand for sewing, but his heart or his head reverberates with lack of ideas. He needs inspiration as frustration and patience won't breed any good ideas. The way things are going, he won't finish the job or find creative peace. But let's talk to this Taylor real quick. Excuse me. Damn it. I forgot to turn the key. You sure did. Sorry, what? You tell me. What is it? I couldn't help noticing you're struggling for inspiration. You've got a keen eye. The book makes it easier? I have to guess what everyone has in their mind. Is there any way I can help? I want to know what people look for in fashion these days. Back in the day, all you needed was two pant legs and a space for your Johnson. I don't know what else there is to it. If you tell me that, I'll be grateful. I'll sue you anything you want in return. Let me sharpen my senses. Let's leave? I need some evening wear, quick. Good proportions. Thank you. Alterations won't take long. Your name and address, sir? Viktor Shulski, 9 Green Square. I'll send a messenger when I'm done. And Mr. Shulsky, if you'll allow me a moment of candor, as it often seems no one dares to address you with it. Sorry, what? <laughs> Go and find yourself a barber in Povonsky. You look like a troglodyte. Ah, uh, dang. Everybody just gonna come for my, now, my facial hair? I'd like to go to my business. I won't bother you. All right. There's the barber. We got a point of interest there, too. So let's go to that point of interest first. Oh, we got this to read, too. Get us all that EXP. And I think that was it. As far as, like, what's over here near the barber. So let's go to the barber and get, I guess, our facial hair cut. Or maybe it's just, like, a regular haircut. Nothing to hear for me to be nosy about. That sucks. Come in. Please set my hair to rights. Yes, sir. Uh. <laughs> Kind of don't care for most of these hairstyles, but I think I like that one. I don't know, my dudes give me like Abraham Lincoln vibes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't usually talk to clients. Do you like it? I can't help noticing that you're the most tight-lipped barber I've been to. And even you admit that you rarely talk to clients. Why is that? When I prepared them for their final journey, it's hard to ask for their opinion. So you style the deceased too? Mostly. They still need to look good. After all, you only get a funeral once in your lifetime. So, 
What do you think? Do you like it? Yes, you're talented. Years of practice. My clients are always satisfied. And then we can always change up our hairstyle after that. So now that we got that, they want us to prepare for the soiree. And all these ones are just viewpoints and whatnot. All right. I think I saw find out about your father's dying moment. That's part of like the main quest. So we have all those to do. So I God ran dare. over to this other area and then You're I got the ones ran disturbing into a the dead and strewing the bodies out over the graveyard. No, not dead. We are professionals. We've got the troublemaker here. Got a fight I didn't plan to do? I bet he'll call the Undertaker. That's too bad. The Gravedigger will be surprised to see all this looting. Fuck, I knew Thursday would be no good. Don't be a sissy. It'll be all over soon. Let's see if we're gonna get our, take the coat. our ass kicked, guys. I'll take the cloth hoppers. <laughs> Uh, I have nothing to to use this point on. <laughs> but let's see. I don't have anybody with that. I can reduce. I can remove that trait. But holy crap! Like these guys are gonna wipe the floor with me. All right, fuck it. <laughs> And I'm bleeding too. The audacity. Okay, this is interesting because now it's like, okay, so after you do one of the attacks, you can follow up with like the next one.
Oh man. I didn't heal up though. That was like my plan was to was to heal up from something. I I don't know. I I somehow messed up that heal. <laughs> it looks like, or maybe it's because it's there. A salutor should attack. That heals me, right? And then, am I dead now? Yep, I'm dead now. All right, we gotta, we gotta plan this better. <laughs> uh, I think that was this one. Oof. I'm telling we're about to die again because I'm not <laughs> planning this properly. My gosh, why do I? Uh, come on. All right, we're gonna we're gonna get this, guys. We're we're gonna get this. These guys ain't shit. How am I still gonna die? I'm so close to winning this fight. Okay, there we go. Because if we had one more turn, I think I was gonna die there. That is crazy, but okay. Challenge mode definitely has you needing to think more on <laughs> what you're doing in combat and how you have like all the different passives set up too. Um, not sure what it's supposed to happen after that, but that happened. I was just doing like a little exploring here. So you guys didn't have to see it. And then we got stuck in that fight. All right guys, so one thing to do is visit Rasputin here at the Povos whatever it's called street. <laughs> uh, and that's where we're at. So wanted to get this in. Call this a proper time for a I visit. I sure do. What's going on? Please let me in. It's urgent. Sir and madam are already in bed. Come back in the morning like someone respectable. Fear not. I'm here for Rasputin. I can sense he's in a drawing room. Hey, he's drinking that heavily? Anything in here? I can't open up that door. Damn. Intriguing. Isles of invitation. Okay, what are you guys planning for? Medications. Perfume bottle gifted to Rasputin. Decorative fan. Curving words still waft over the fan uttered either to her husband or herself, complaining about her failing health and psyche. The small gust of air didn't bring any relief. Let's see what conclusion we can come to. 
These guys are well situated, quite prosperous. They live a comfortable life and have friends in high places. No wonder Rasputin has chosen them. He seems to have won their favor by taking care of Anelia, who suffers from a nervous disorder. All right. Is that him? In the flesh. Allow me to introduce you. My dear hostess, Aniela Narodzinska, and my dear friend, Viktor Shulsky. Your father had a beautiful funeral. Thank you. My dear, we finished for today. Now I'll find out what brings Viktor to us. What brings you here? Lots of things. But you were the one who phoned. Very funny. Have you known them long? No, but Aniela and Lucian are my two good souls. They took me, an impoverished preacher, in under their roof. And I'll never forget that. Are you helping them too? I am a bomb for Aniela's frazzled nerves. But enough of that. Tell me what you need. Why was she looking at me so oddly? What did you tell her about me? She's never seen a thaumaturge before. I only mentioned to her how we met. Can I help you at all? You look like you've made yourself at home. Are you going to be staying on here for long? No, I'm afraid not. They're kind people, but I've experienced another vision. Though not fully terrifying, it is troubling. You don't Will say. You tell me about it. Later. What brings you to me? No, I won't bother you. We can talk next time. The Narazinski door is all. I gotta put a, uh, a mustache back on this dude. It, it just doesn't seem right with him without a mustache, you know? Guess we'll develop this one just to finish it off and then we can focus on these ones next. It just seems kind of weird. Bloody debt receives damage in the last round of the state's duration. I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to play around with some of these. But alright, we had some other stuff to check out too. So slowly but surely we'll get there. Alright guys, so I moved over to Owlsel and uh, I picked up some stuff and it seems like our Salutor had something to show us. When an area is enveloped in red fog, it is a sign that Upper wants to show you something. Go where the fog is thinner. Stay away from places where it gets thick and remember that Upper doesn't like to be ignored. If you go into the fog, the vision will disappear. I'll be first. You'll see. Slow down. You'll get your clothes all dirty. This us as kids? Oh, there he is. That kid, it's me. My mother thought I'd lost my mind. So did Liga, I guess. And that, as we know, didn't happen until much later. I didn't remember that Abaurizio was there too. He must have been. After all, he'd laughed at me later for wetting my pants. It was my birthday. Was it then that you chose? Yeah, so that's when we first met? Okay, that was weird for how it <laughs> loaded us in there. 
but okay. Slowly but surely getting like a little, little bit more background lore on our guy. There's like another solitaire here? What the heck? Morana. Morana. Hello. Let's see what brought you here. I felt something. Where is it? Are we already about to like be able to recruit another auditor? I'm not seeing much red here for that evidence though. But I see something over near like the other pier portion. Nothing over there. Unfinished painting, rust colored splashes and sharp outlines convey the idea that determined every brush stroke. Is that the person's body there? Looks like we can start developing though. Or maybe I should have waited to see if we actually did get that value term. What you painting? Move a little to the left, will you? You are blocking my view. What are you doing here? Drawing an illustration for a newspaper? For myself, as a local artist. I'm Cayetan. Do you specialize in still lives? Yes, you might say that. Here in Povichle, nothing interesting has ever happened. But there you go. Never would have got that. Murders with an artistic twist. Very inspiring. Oh, but I guess that makes sense. W's are pronounced like B's. Povichle? Povichle doesn't seem like a pleasant place to live. Is life itself pleasant? I don't think so. Even those mutilated bodies, they have no eyes. As if the murderer tried to say there's nothing to see here. So you're saying that nothing matters? Exactly. Once misfortune brought me to this river, I wanted to end my life. But the river wouldn't have me and threw me back on the bank. I decided to stay around. I'll go now. Please, step back. This is a crime scene. I can see that. Am I wrong? Or does the deceased have no eyes? Yeah, no eyes, all right. And why would there be? He's the fisherman's sixth victim. Fisherman's. Hey, Rogulski. Cut the chit-chat. And you, three steps back. Go on. Is the fisherman some local criminal? Get out of here while I'm still asking nicely. Easy, I'm going now. I don't want to bother you. Just what I need. A fucking throng of onlookers. Okay, that was... That was interesting. What was that little tutorial thing again? And yeah, now we're on to something. Thank.
In relation to the situation, Paul will still stop. I demand immediate progress, otherwise you will be demoted and dismissed from the case. Oh, did nice people just rat. pull up behind us? They smell like downtown. They sure did. What are you sniffing around here for, Outlander? You'd better not get in my way when I'm working. And what does a whelp like your double? Your mama. Maybe he's the murderer. The young master was bored and came to Povishta for a taste of gore. He'll taste it all right. His own. Dang, you got 38 health? All right, so we got different traits, etc. So let's start the fight, I guess. Them in this bleed. This is crazy. One damage at the end of. See, so now we're taking three damage at the end of each turn. I can't disable his stuff yet. Oh, so that's how his turn is going, like he's giving more focus or something. Man, they're really about to mess me up again. Oh, come on, I thought you were dying. Now you're dying? Right, now I'm dead. I didn't even get health back on that, see? Oof. guys we're, we're gonna get this we're gonna get this <laughs> Oof, that was clutch that was super freaking clutch that yeah, we got the interrupt there now we're gonna get our health back and then now we should be able to just destroy this dude Reduce that focus just in case. Yeah, there we go. Oh, dang, he's healing up too?
Let's go. There we go. Hope they but Weird that they didn't give us like a cutscene or anything after that, but it's fine because now we can make our way back. Find the person with the flaw. Oh, there's a fisherman. Hey, fish biting. It doesn't matter. What do you want? My name is Victor. I only wanted to ask what was going on here. With those damn police? They are trying to catch the fisherman. And the fisherman is doing his bit. Who's the fisherman? The one who left the body on the beach. Stark naked, with pebbles in place of eyes, and a hook stuck in the roof of the mouth. Like a fish. That's what he always does. The police call him a serial killer. A dozen people he snuffed out like that already, the son of a gun. You sound like it doesn't bother you too much. And what should it bother me for? If he kills, he kills. We are not to judge if that's good or bad. The river giveth, and the river taketh away. Yep. Do you just agree with his like, own saying? And they can't catch the fisherman even though he continues to kill. Is that right? He's smart, shrewd, not like those police fools. And everyone knows who he is. How so? Because. You see that guy on the beach who set up his easels in the sand and is painting? He's the fisherman. He paints all those bodies. He's always around the new ones. They even raided that hovel of his. Right, Edek? Yep. And yet, he is still at large and keeps painting. So maybe he's not the fisherman after all. Sure he is. Everyone says it's him. He's a weirdo, living like a hermit in that hovel. Right, right. Nothing holds any value for him. So maybe he takes people's lives just for the hell of it. Yep. And where is that hovel? Go along the river and behind the workshop. Am I right, Eric? Yep. Is it bad that they're doing the job? And what for? Did anybody call them? Anybody complain? What do you think? Murder doesn't bother anyone? Like there are never any murders in Povishle. Big deal. The river giveth and the river taketh away. Please, bro. We get it. We'll do fine. We don't need the police here. Thank you, gentlemen. Yeah, right. This red wasn't here before. Oh man, no time, it's another fight. Hey, you can't be here. Uh, Kayetan doesn't allow it. I don't like you, Sonny. He's got nice shoes, though. I wish I didn't buy them at all. Well, I don't like that kind of resignation. But I still like your shoes. <sighs> Alrighty, another fight. This one is mine, and this one is 
word okay but i think our best bet is to what try and reduce their focus The first attack on this target incurs a counterattack from all enemies. Okay. if it said that the traits make it till they're immune. Okay, cool. We still got that on them. Damn, bro. He hitting hard. just beating the shit out of me. What was that? <laughs> now vulnerable to a strong attack? It's like our turn to get some payback. <laughs> there we go. Knocking them out. Now let's go in here and finish up this this quest, or at least try to. <laughs> Message from the policeman. Discouragement flowing through. Pelowin's veins makes his hand go askew, making the words fall on paper helplessly. It's lost hope a long time ago. So this came from the commissioner. And we can draw a conclusion already? At least the painter is the killer. Seems desperate for solid evidence and circumstances work to the painter's disadvantage. It's only a matter of time. They're basically like proving innocence here, it seems. The artist contemplated the curious appeal of the drowned victims, finding an odd sort of solace in them. The old rags permeated with the smell of turpentine and a sense of security like a nest built atop a tree. Draw a conclusion. This person is both dead and alive, inextricably linked with the river in a most peculiar way. He paints images of crime on the riverbanks of Palvisil. Even though he can afford painting materials, he prefers a life deprived of luxury. Uh, and then we got to do the, the confrontation.
But are we sure it's not the cop? I feel like it'd be the cop. Is the painting finished? Nope. The police took the body before I could finish. But I'm sure something new will appear soon. Can I ask you a question? Whatever. I think painting those bodies has become something very important to you. I hadn't thought about it that way. It seems it has given your life a new... meaning. Do you... Really think so? Aren't you afraid you might be arrested? You're always the first one out of the body. You paint it. To me, you look like a murderer. Me? Why? The bodies appear on their own. Besides, let the police worry about that. If they catch the murderer, there will be no more dead bodies to... pose. Right. I hadn't thought about that. I don't understand. Oh. It seems that while contemplating the lack of sense in life, you did find something you care about. Right. But that doesn't make sense. Why is it that in trying to go with the flow, I end up paddling harder? Where did I go wrong? Lots of places. Beautiful. Kajitan, the peculiar painter is the one that Morana follows. Morana's presence creates malice and a sense of despair among the residents of Pavasil. The source of these following or feelings is Kajitan, who bears a flaw. If I can bring it out, Morana will be mine. I wonder. If you developed it when you tried to kill yourself, or if you had it before. It is your doubt, your resignation, your nihilism. It's time to free you from it. Can you hear me? Take a step back from him. What? What are you doing? They're arresting me, that's what. What are you arresting him for? Having strange interests? Have you got any proof? We are arresting the prime suspect. Do not obstruct us. Tell them what you told me. You are not the killer. What difference does it make? Pilevin, you know he's not the one. What can I do? This case is taking too long anyway. How are you going to sleep after this? I'm going to buzz it up till I fall asleep. Preferably in moonshine. And I thought we were gonna fight and, and get uh, Morana. And now it starts to rain. But I guess not. So, what we're going to do, guys, is we're gonna end the episode off right here. Hope you enjoyed, but we're gonna next episode try to unlock that next uh, Salutor and get the fights going. But hope you enjoyed. Leave a like for the video. Helps out the video a lot. Not subscribe to the channel because it lets me know you enjoy the content you see right here. But with that said, stay sharp. Later.